Number 10. The Underwater Aquarium at Silver Key. There is a creepy abandoned aquarium on Silver Key in the city of Nassau in the Bahamas. It's called the Coral Island Marine Park, and once upon a time, it was a bustling tourist destination. The aquarium originally opened in 1987 and was one of the biggest parks of its kind at the time. It was a museum as well as an underwater observatory. Tourists could check out sharks, turtles, stingrays, and there were snorkeling trails where they could see wildlife in its natural habitat. It was honestly one of the greatest underwater marine viewing parks ever built. Alas, the fun didn't last forever though. When Hurricane Floyd showed up and hit the Bahamas in 1999, it caused significant damage. The marine park was partly destroyed, which caused it to be temporarily shut down. But unfortunately, it never reopened. The park has been abandoned ever since and basically completely forgotten. Tour guides don't even know what the structure used to be. They just tell tourists that it's an abandoned lighthouse. But the truth is that this was once a place where you could literally walk underwater and interact with some of the most fascinating marine creatures in the world. Now it just looks creepy, like an underwater space needle. Number 9. Burwash Correctional Center Deep in the frozen landscape of the Canadian province Ontario, there is a bizarre and rather ominous abandoned structure called the Burwash Correctional Center. It originally opened over a hundred years ago in 1914 and quickly became such a popular prison that an entire community grew up around it. The community was even built by the inmates themselves, designed to house somewhere around 1,000 residents to work at the prison and at the local farm. But in 1975, the prison was deemed too costly for the government, and so it was shut down. But they never demolished the entire thing, leaving its ugly red brick building to slowly erode by the brutal elements. Today, the correctional center is still there, but it's located in the absolute middle of nowhere. There's actually no road that leads to the prison. You have to hike over two miles after parking your car on the side of the road just to get there. And what makes this such a great place to explore is that the community is also abandoned. When the government shut down the facility, they also shut down the community and pushed everyone who didn't want to leave out. The federal government purchased the property for nearly $2 million in an attempt to turn the area into a goat farm, but it proved to be a huge waste of money, and sadly, nobody farmed any goats here. Number 8. Wisconsin's Cold War Missile Site there is a strange abandoned missile silo from the Cold War in Wisconsin. In fact, there are actually eight different government defense sites scattered around Milwaukee, and this is only one of them. It's located in Waukesha, the Nike control site M74. It had actual launching pads, ground radar equipment, and everything else the government thought was necessary to protect the Midwest in the event of a full-scale Russian bombing. It was functional from between the 1950s until 1972 when it was finally decommissioned. After that, the land was handed over to the city and then cleaned up. But it wasn't completely cleaned. Much of the equipment is still there, abandoned, and nobody quite knows what to do with it. The missiles here were designed to destroy anything coming at the area, blowing up Russian missiles before they could ever touch ground. There's an abandoned bunker here, pieces of equipment looking like forgotten jungle gym pieces, and what little is left of the radar tower itself. Number 7. Linwood Hall Linwood Hall is an abandoned estate considered to be one of the greatest mansions in America from the Gilded Age that is still standing today. At one point, it was one of the most luxurious pieces of real estate in Pennsylvania. It kind of looks like the White House, especially with its huge white pillars supporting the extravagant portico in the front. But sadly, Linwood Hall has been abandoned for years. It's in an absolute state of disrepair, and nobody seems interested in doing anything with the property. It was built between 1897 and 1900 for a U.S. tycoon and one of the investors of the Titanic. His name was Peter Errol Brown Widener. He was one of the richest Americans to ever live in the country. The garden of this huge estate was landscaped by the famous French architect Jacques Grebe. The whole palace, because really, this was a palace, was draped in silk and filled with collectible treasures from all around the world. 
But after Peter died, then his son died, nobody wanted to take care of the estate. The family abandoned it, a property developer purchased it in 1948 for only $130,000. It was sold again in 1952, and even 70 years later, pretty much nothing has changed. The treasure has been cleaned out, and it's been stripped of its previous splendor, but it's still standing the same as it was in 1900. Only ugly and forgotten. If you could buy this abandoned mansion for just $5, would you uproot your life and move in tomorrow? Let us know your thoughts on this amazing piece of abandoned property in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. And number 6. Haunted School there is an abandoned school in Kent, England that is said to be haunted. It's called the Lilsden School for Girls, and it's so creepy that it was featured as a filming location in the zombie movie 28 Days Later. The school was built out of what was once an estate mansion, originally constructed in 1855. It was requisitioned in World War I and used as a hospital for soldiers. After World War I is when it turned into a school for girls, but by 1975, this kind of segregation was over, and it became just a general school for boys and girls. It closed in 1999 because of falling attendance. For whatever reason, parents just didn't want to send their kids to school there. After the school shut down, it was abandoned. People now say there's a young boy's ghost haunting the halls of the neglected structure. The young boy supposedly died at the school and can be seen in some of the broken mirrors and fractured glass windows. But of course, this is just a rumor. Number 5. An Entire Spanish Village a Spanish village that was abandoned 30 years ago recently reappeared after spending the last three decades underwater. It's called Aceredo, and the structures here are sad and honestly a little depressing. The village was home to about a dozen families until they were kicked out so that the government could make a new water reservoir. Everyone abandoned their homes, a Portuguese hydroelectric plant closed its floodgates, and the entire village ended up under the water. But recently, the water level in the reservoir became so low that the entire village reappeared from its watery void. And amazingly, there were a handful of homes still standing. There are cars in the village, people's personal possessions lying on lawns, and even bottles still standing upright on shelves. In fact, there is even water still gushing out of the village fountain. The place is wholly destroyed, looking like it got wiped out by a nuclear bomb. Number 4. The Lennox Castle the Lennox Castle Hospital can be found in Glasgow, Scotland. It's a curious structure with a long and complicated history. The castle itself was constructed in the 1830s as a private piece of real estate. It was in the early part of the 20th century that the castle was converted into what became a psychiatric hospital. But by 2002, the institution was shut down and abandoned. And for the past almost 20 years, it's been slowly crumbling to dust. The plan to turn it into a mental hospital came in 1925. By 1936, the castle became what was known back then as a mental deficiency institution. It was way ahead of its time in terms of treatment for the patients. There was room for over 1,200 people with separate dormitories for males and females. There was access to communal dining halls, there were cinema shows and recreational facilities. But after its great start, the hospital began to deteriorate. It became extremely overcrowded, the government stopped funding it, and many patients were left to fend for themselves. It became a free-for-all, with people who had mental disabilities struggling to find food for themselves inside the halls of this spooky castle. Dr. Alistair Sim, the medical director for the hospital in the 1980s, called it wretched and dehumanizing. He said he never worked in a worse pit and was sick to his stomach by what he saw inside the walls of his own hospital. So, all things considered, maybe it's a good thing the structure is now abandoned. Number 3. Satsup Nuclear Power Plant the Satsup nuclear power plant in Elma, Washington was one of the most ambitious projects in the U.S. back in the 1970s. But like every other nuclear project in America, this one had heaps of problems. The Washington public power supply system allegedly defaulted on over $2 billion in bonds. The project was plagued by overcosts and construction finally stopped in 1982. This left the power plant just a little over half complete. Giant cooling towers and the half-finished domes of reactor containment structures were left abandoned. 
And yes, they are still abandoned today, but this is one of those rare cases where an abandoned power plant has gotten a makeover. In 2013, there was an initiative to turn the ugly abandoned power plant into an industrial center. While the structures of the plant are still abandoned and just as grim as they were in the 1980s, there is now a technology campus on site. There's an acoustical lab for film shoots at a tunnel training site used by the Seattle Fire Department. Number 2. The Wagashans Light the Waukeshans Light is a ruined lighthouse at the northern end of Lake Michigan. It was originally used to protect boats from Chicago from crashing into the narrow tip at this part of the lake. Plus, the area around the tip, called Waukeshans Point, is shallow, easy for boats to wreck themselves. The lighthouse was established in 1851 and then deactivated in 1912. In 1871, the lighthouse keepers rang bells for days on end to protect vessels during the Great Chicago Fire from crashing into the rocks. Because of the thick smoke, the lighthouse light was invisible to those out on the water. But ever since 1912, the building has been abandoned. Nobody has done any maintenance to it and it's steadily eroded and deteriorated. Experts believe it's only a matter of time before the whole structure crumbles into the lake and is lost forever. Number 1. Hotel of Doom the Ryugong Hotel, also known as North Korea's Hotel of Doom, is by far one of the strangest abandoned structures anywhere in the world. This place is a massive super skyscraper over 1,000 feet in height and supposedly filled with over 3,000 rooms. It was designed to have five revolving restaurants with incredible panoramic views of the area. But guess what? This luxury super hotel never actually opened. It never even got the chance to live up to all of its potential. Ground was broken in 1987, it reached its maximum height in 1992, and then the construction just stopped. They didn't even put any windows on the superstructure for 16 years. It was just a big concrete monster towering over the city. But since then, there has been some work done. Metal and glass have been installed. Lights were put in so that the hotel could be lit up at night. However, it has still never been opened to guests. The tallest building in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea, has been abandoned ever since construction started and shows no signs of being occupied anytime soon. But this shouldn't really come as a surprise. North Korea isn't exactly a destination people choose for a vacation. Which abandoned structure would you love to explore most of all? Let us know in the comments and thanks a lot for watching the video. To help support the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and check out more of our awesome videos. See you next time. Bye!